Well, it's 645 on this Tuesday morning, and this morning we're talking all about the Traverse City Wine and Art Festival, which is only a few days away at this point. So I'm joined by Lori Hathaway and Eddie Brengman from Brengman Brothers. And sure. we've got some wine here this morning because we're talking about something that's a bit of an art form practically, and it's wine and food pairing, which a lot of people struggle with. So how do people kind of get started in that, and how do they really create that winning combination? Well, you got to experiment a little bit, but it's usually it's a personal preference. They usually say the whites with the, the fish and chicken and the reds with the meats. That's the base. But uh, after that, you can experiment a little bit and really enjoy your different taste. Exactly. And speaking of different tastes, at the Wine and Art Festival, there's going to be something like 200 wines. Yeah. Right? So can people kind of come and sample out, and will there be maybe some suggestions of with or how can they kind of get started the ball rolling of, oh, this wine I like, what would I pair this with? Well, what's really great is all of the winemakers and owners are going to be there. So you can certainly talk about the wines. Um, and, our, and the background from the winemakers and owners are so different. Um, you have some people that chuck the corporate world and came in. Some are farmers. Um, and then all the wines are different, too. I mean, um, Eddie has a wine inspired by football, which I think is interesting. And so just being able to oh, chat with the Oh, the Black 65, it's a beautiful white blend. And you got Sauvignon Blanc, you got Pinot Gris, you got V&A in there. It's, uh, it's named after my brother, Bert, who uh, played football at Eastern Michigan. It's in his memory. So we really like that. It's our best seller. I think the, our customers love it, too. That's what I love about events like this as well, because you can actually interact with the winemakers. Like, you know, we're getting to talk to you this morning, and you can give us kind of the background on these wines, which is awesome. Do you want to tell us about the other two? Well, right here we have a nice uh, artisan Chardonnay. It's a barrel Chardonnay. It's been in French oak for 18 months. It, this is a... A beautiful wine with your fish and chicken and things like that. Then we have a nice Gewurztraminer. Most people have a little tough <laughs> oh, that's time a with hard one to say. That's right. If you remember, girls are meaner. <laughs> you'll remember it. It's really easy. <laughs> this was named after my brother's brother-in-law who worked in Sonoma, and he said we have to have the Gewurztraminer. Right, so once again, you know, the vineyards in there. All these wines, these are going to be at the Wine and Art Festival. It's going to be a big event, and it's happening on Saturday from three to ten. Is it too late to get tickets? Nope, you can get tickets at um, TraverseCityWineFestival.com. Uh, the $35 for general tickets. And then you can also get them at the door for 45 Right, so plenty of room. It's at the, uh, it's at the Traverse City Commons. Correct. So lots of room, you're gonna love it. Tons of wines. Thank you both so much for coming in this morning. 